So for finding the slope between two points. So to find a slope between two points, you need two points. Now, if we're finding a slope, it, the implication is we're looking at something that is indeed linear. So when we're actually looking at these two points, we either need to have them in a table such that we know that they are linear. We can verify that, and we'll talk about that in a different video. Or we've been told that these two points, let's say 2, 4, and negative 3, uh, how about 16, right, uh, are two points that are on a line. So first things first, there is that fun formula. We got M for slope, right, because that makes a lot of sense. Y1 minus Y2 over X1 minus X2, which, by the way, is the same as saying Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. I don't like these formulas, but here's what this means. Notice how Y1 and X1 are vertically in the same spot as our y2 and x2. It means you're taking the difference between those two points in the same order, okay? Probably the easiest way to remember this is that slope is rise over run. So if you were to take a look at, say, this point here, right, and this point here, the rise is always going to be the x values. Or sorry, the rise is always going to be the y values. Uh, that means that if you want to find the rise, you find the difference. So you could think of it as subtracting. Lining these up is helpful because this way you don't mess up the order ever. So 16 minus 4 is 12, and negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. And that means that this is indeed the rise, also known as the change in y. And negative 5 is the run, also known as the change in x. And that way, when you're finding the slope, which, because we are mathematicians, we use m. That's a joke. Um, it would be 12 over negative 5. Most people would write negative 12 fifths. This is useful if you ever had to graph the thing or to figure out what the slope means. Um, that is, we're seeing a change in 12 units, a decrease in 12 units, let's say, in the y values for whatever an increase of 5 of the x values would be. If you wanted to write a decimal, 5 goes into 12 twice with a remainder of 2, so 2 and, one and, you know, two, and 2 fifths, or 2.4 is another way to write the slope. Okay? That, as they say, is that.